Hello! Today I'm here to give you four suggestions of things that you can do right now to help create a perfectly organized Google Drive. Now, if you're anything like me, it's pretty easy for your file storage systems of all kinds to quickly get disorganized and out of control. I tend to add files to things in a hurry and just end up with a large pile of various file types with similar names that aren't classified very well making finding things in the future much more difficult than it needs to be. However, if you use these four tips in Google Drive, you'll quickly find yourself the most organized you've ever been. So to get started, you need to have a good folder structure in Google Drive. To show you an example, let's create a primary folder by clicking on the New button and then selecting Folder. I'm going to call this folder Bills. Next, I'm going to create a subfolder inside of this one, using the same process. And this one I'm going to call Car. So now we have a subfolder where all of my car-related bills and expenses, maintenance, fuel, etc. can be stored. Finally, to keep myself even more organized, let's create a folder here that's labeled with This Week. I can then create new folders each week to store my documents, ensuring that everything is easy to find from here on out. You can repeat this with any type of file you need to store in Drive, but just remember the basic folder, subfolder, chronological folder structure to keep everything neat and tidy. Next, let's add some color to our folders to help make things easier to find. People tend to notice color much quicker than they notice words, so by using color coding we can help speed up how quickly we can scan our drive folder for a given item. To change the color of a folder, just right-click it, choose Change Color, and then select your color. What I like to do is make my parent folder and all of the subfolders the same color. That way when I do a search for something, I can tell what parent folders subfolders belong to at a glance thanks to my color coding scheme. Google Drive doesn't let us organize files based on the date they were created, only the date they were last modified. However, for most of us, knowing the creation date is an important part of organization. That's why I recommend implementing a standard naming convention that includes the date a document was created in brackets at the start of the title. Finally, you need to keep your Shared With Me section of your drive organized as well. Files shared with you are not automatically added to your My Drive section. To do this, just select the file and then click the Add to My Drive button up here. You can then click the Move To button and place the entire file exactly where you wish it to fall under your existing organizational structure right from this screen. It's a good idea to name the file according to your naming convention before you move it, helping to make it more easily found later. Hopefully you find these organizational tips helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.